let's see what the leading scientists and doctors say about the techniques and methods which we use in the breath now method to lower anxiety and blood pressure. We'll do a double inhale followed by an extended exhale. Children or, or adults for that matter that are sobbing and lose their breath, so to speak, will also do a double inhale exhale. That's the spontaneous execution of what we call the physiological sigh. The reason it works so well to relax us is because it offloads a lot of carbon dioxide all at once. Now, when we do a double inhale, so I'll do this now twice through my nose, or you could do this, or you could do it through your mouth, but it works best through the nose. It's inhale, and then you sneak a little bit more air in at the very end. When you do that, you reinflate those little sacs. And when you exhale, then you discard all the carbon dioxide at once. We found in our laboratory, and other laboratories have found, that just one two or three of those physiological size brings your level of stress down very, very fast. The other thing about breathing and the reason why exhales are so vital is the following. I know there's a lot of interest nowadays in heart rate variability. Well, most people don't realize this, but your breathing is actually driving heart rate variability. So when you inhale this dome-shaped muscle beneath your lungs, your diaphragm, actually moves down because the lungs expand, it moves down. When you do that, you create more space in the thoracic cavity and you actually, the heart gets a little bigger, it actually expands. As a consequence, blood flows more slowly through that larger volume and the brain quickly sends a signal down to the heart to speed the heart up. The short, simple version of this is inhales speed the heart up. When you exhale, the opposite is true. That dome-shaped muscle, the diaphragm, moves up. The space in your thoracic cavity gets a little bit smaller. The heart gets a little bit smaller. Blood moves more quickly through that small volume, and the brain sends a signal to the heart to slow the heart down. But this is the basis of what we call HRV, heart rate variability. And the simple way to remember this is anytime you emphasize exhales, in other words, making them longer than your inhales, you are slowing the heart rate down. You're calming your system. Anytime you emphasize inhales, you make them more vigorous or longer than your exhales, you're speeding up your heart. The research is centering around six breaths per minute. So when I'm working with a client, the first time we'll, what we'll do is we work in the biochemistry of breathing, so we generate air hunger. Then I will spend so much time working on the biomechanics of breathing. Then I will work on the cadence of the breath. And I have the client simply breathe in two, three, four, and out three, four, five, six. And I continue with that. And we are changing the respiratory rate from their normal spontaneous breathing down to six breaths per minute. Why? Because the research shows that you can influence the autonomic nervous system. Bodily systems which have been disturbed by stress, especially long-term stress. And the research is looking at post-traumatic stress disorder, um, irritable bowel syndrome, anxiety, and also depression has been featured. That when you slow down the respiratory rate to six breaths per minute, it's stimulating the vagus nerve, it's increasing heart rate variability, it's increasing the synchronicity between your respiration and the timing of your heartbeat. And it's also exercising or increasing the sensitivity of baroreceptors. We need to have a balance between the parasympathetic and the sympathetic. If a challenge comes our way, we should be able to adapt to it. Life is always going to throw us a curved ball. How does our body react to it? This is about resilience. And people with really good functioning of the autonomic nervous system, they can cope better with what life is throwing at them. Now, in terms of can you improve that? If you read a paper or an article by Mark Russo, it's called Slow Breathing. You will see that they have done quite a lot of research looking at the, the application of slow breathing to general health. When you slow down the breath to six breaths per minute, you stimulate baroreceptors, which are pressure receptors in the major blood vessels, in the aorta and in the carotid arteries. And they become more sensitive. So when there's an increase of your blood pressure, the baroreceptors send an immediate message to cause your blood vessels to dilate and your heart rate to slow down so that it brings down your blood pressure. 
but conversely, if your blood pressure is low, the baroreceptors immediately react that by causing your blood vessels to constrict and your heart rate to increase to normalize your blood pressure. But the sensitivity of your baroreceptors are a very good marker of your resilience in life. Now, it's not just about slow breathing. As you pointed out, we do breath holding as well. Now, why would we do breath holding? We want, you know, to stress the body a little bit because we can cause adaptations to happen there. Like modern life now, it's all about comfort. Yeah. But throughout our evolution, we were always exposed to little stressors. And I think it's good. You know, physical exercise is a stress. And um, going into a cold environment is a stress. We can improve our ability to cope by doing stressors. And breath holding is a stressor. I used to get a little bit anxious of it because, of course, you, you're going out, go into a separate room, and I would really slow down my breathing and take my attention out of the mind onto the breath and bring a quietness to the mind and bring myself into the zone. But then I'm too relaxed. I have, I have focus, but I'm too relaxed. Then I do five strong breath holds because this increases blood flow to the brain. It opens up my nose, it opens up my lungs, it puts me into that state of pre preparedness. But blood pressure is just as big a risk factor for cardiovascular disease as lipids, and it's way more amenable to, I hate the word, but lifestyle intervention. You know, losing weight and exercising will fix a lot of people's blood pressure. Not everybody. We have some very lean, fit, healthy people in our practice who still have essential hypertension, and it has to be lowered pharmacologically. But for many people, um, you know, losing 20 pounds and exercising, especially cardio, is going to do amazing things on their blood pressure. So after that two years of, you know, doing this pretty vigorous intensity exercise protocol, their, um, the people, the 50-year-olds, they reversed their cardiac structure aging by 20 years. So their hearts were looking more like 30-year-old hearts versus 50-year-old hearts. And this is after two years of doing this. And to me, it was so motivating to go, wow, these 50-year-olds can do this. Like these were untrained people who don't usually work out. And by the end of these two years, I mean, they were like getting at it. That would be the four minutes of the exercise intensity as hard as you can go and maintain it for that entire four minutes. You know, it, it might, for some people, it might be like 75% max heart rate, right? So some people might be 80%, not be able to talk for sure when you're doing it. So it's hard enough that you just absolutely can't talk. Three minutes of totally light, like you're going all the way. This is like, you know, you're you're like back to like zone one, if you want to <laughs> call it something. You're doing that for three minutes because you want to give your, you want to recover so that you can do it again. And it, and you repeat it, it's it's a four, it's a four time protocol. So you do it once and then you repeat it three times or you just call it the four by four. I think that's probably one of the, the best protocols to improve VO2 max. Now there's evidence that a one minute protocol, so like just even doing like an interval, like one minute interval and then doing that like you know, a few times also can improve VO2 max.